breakfast tacos are one of my go-to meals when I don't have any food prepped and I also don't want to spend much time cooking. I've got my method down to a science where it only takes me about 10 minutes to get to Taco Town and I only dirty one dish in the process. These breakfast tacos are made of eggs, cheese, and potatoes and have about 152 calories and 7 grams of protein per taco. This is how I make them. Start with one small russet potato or 100 grams worth and cut that into french fry shape. Most of the time when I make these breakfast tacos, I use a few of my crinkle cut french fries that I keep in Snack City, which makes this process even easier. But because I'm still in between kitchens, Snack City is currently a ghost town and I don't have any prepared. Once you get your fries cut, you can place them into the basket of your air fryer and drizzle over a half a teaspoon or about two grams of oil. Now using an oil spray would be much easier and save you some of the effort of having to mix it up by hand, but my oil spray is somewhere packed away and I have no idea where it's at. After it's been coated with the oil, you can sprinkle over a bit of salt to your liking and then move it into your air fryer at 400 degrees Fahrenheit or 204 Celsius for 8 to 12 minutes. While those potatoes are cooking, you can get out two large eggs or 140 grams worth and crack them into a small dish. Add in one tablespoon or 15 grams of milk, a bit of salt to taste, and beat those together until they are smooth. I'm sure with this next take, some of you are going to try to call the police on me and have me immediately jailed, but I think one of the best ways to make scrambled eggs is actually in the microwave. I'm still kitchenless, so into the garage we go where the microwave currently lives, and these eggs are going to take about a 90 second ride to be cooked. The microwave makes wonderful fluffy scrambled eggs in no time at all, and it saves me from having to clean a pan. This dish here is the only one from the cooking process of these tacos that I'll actually have to clean, and it can just be tossed in the dishwasher. I'll let the eggs go for 45 seconds or so, and then pull them from the microwave to stir them up so that they cook evenly. Then I return the dish to the microwave for another 30 to 45 seconds. Cook times will depend on the size of your bowl and microwave, so watch it carefully to not overcook. At some point around this time during the cooking process, you should shake the basket of your air fryer to move those potatoes around to ensure that they are cooking properly. While the eggs and the fries are finishing up, place a large dry skillet over medium high heat and add four five inch corn tortillas to be warmed and lightly browned. Flour tortillas are awesome for breakfast tacos as well and you should use whatever you prefer. Gather your potatoes and eggs nearby as they finish cooking and flip your tortillas over to the other side. Next, I like to lay down my cheese while still over the heat so that it has the opportunity to melt. Take two slices or 46 grams of the cheese of your choice, I'm using Monterey Jack, have them and place a slice onto each tortilla. It can also be helpful to place some of the hot potatoes over the top of the cheese to assist in melting from the other side. Then once the cheese has been melted, you can transfer the tacos over to a plate and finish the construction process with the eggs and whatever other toppings you desire. Now I'm sure there's going to be a litany of comments saying, where's the bacon? Here's the deal. This is gonna be hot take number two. Bacon's not that good. It's fine, bacon is fine. But is it good? Not really. When you put bacon in stuff, those things end up just tasting like bacon. Who would want that? I don't want that. Unless of course those things you're talking about are vegetables, then yeah, give me the bacon, obviously. But with the tacos, I wanna taste the cheese and the potatoes and not have my taste buds be assaulted by the overpowering dominance that is bacon. Not for me. Pickled red onions on the other hand, yeah, give me those little shits. I want that. I always keep a supply of pickled onions in my fridge for times like these, and I've showed how to make these in other videos on my channel. So I'm not gonna repeat it here, but I'll be sure to include it in the written version of the recipe in the description. For my toppings, I went with some hot sauce, the pickled onions, and cilantro for the leafy green law, which as you veterans of the channel know, legally makes these tacos count as salads. All four of these tacos total up to be about 606 calories with 28 grams of protein. I've gotten so quick at making these that I can be done in about 10 to 15 minutes. The dish that I use to cook the eggs with, and I guess the plate that I ate these on, are the only dishes that need to be done afterwards. The skillet stayed clean since it was just some dry tortillas, and I'm gonna be honest, I don't clean my air fryer very much. Whether it's for a dope breakfast or a nice little pre-bedtime meal, these breakfast tacos are the dog's bollocks. Keep some pickled onions in the fridge and some fries in Snack City, and you'll never be too far away from some tacos. I'll leave the written recipe in the description of this video, and I'll see you cats on the flip-flop later.